Hey guys, welcome back to Watch with Marcella, where today we are building Newt's Case of Magical Creatures, set number 75952, 694 pieces. This adorable suitcase has four minifigures. We get Jacob, Queenie, Newt, and Tina. It is a really fun build. You get a little baby Niffler. The little Niffler is so cute, but let's go ahead and get building and I will let you know some things along the way. Let's go. Okay, first up we have the Akami, which are from the Far East of India. They are a plumed, two-legged winged creature we find out from Newt's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. They are also famous for having silver eggs, which in this set is white. I wish it had been a little silver ball, but I love them in the movie. They're so cute. Our next beast is the Thunderbird, which Newt calls Frank, and they are native to North America, and they are also highly sensitive to danger. We learn in Fantastic Beasts that they can also wipe mines by causing a storm. I'm gonna put you back where you belong, aren't I, Frank? To the wilds of Arizona.
Let's get started on our last beast in the suitcase, the Arumpant. Arumpants are large African gray beasts, as we learn from our textbook by Mr. Scamander. The Arumpants' numbers are low, as the males frequently explode each other during mating season. The reason for this is because of their horns. The Arumpants have a horn that is nearly indestructible it can pierce anything from skin to metal and it contains a fluid which when injected into things causes them to explode The Arumpet might actually be one of my favorite parts of this build. It's so cute. I really like the horn and the structure. Actually, I really enjoy most of this build, but let's get back to building the Arumpet. And there we have the first part of the build. The minifigures are done. The beasts are done. I've got a nice hot cup of coffee and my new friend Hedwig. And now all we have to do is start working on the suitcase. So I can't wait to get started on that. So let's get going.
this little picture of Lita Lestrange drove me crazy. I could not get it in there to save my life, so I had to take the entire section apart and redo it just to get this one little portrait of Lita to fit on the wall. If I have a least favorite section of this build, it is this part right here with this little nest and this egg. I could not get this egg to sit in this nest to save my life. I couldn't figure out how it was supposed to go in there. I tried several different ways, several different options, and the stupid egg just kept falling out. So I eventually did it off camera and it just kept falling over and over and over again. So I just decided to leave it. And there we have it, Newt Suitcase of Magical Creatures. I really enjoyed this build. I think all of the beasts are beautiful, the colors are beautiful, I hate that egg, but the suitcase structure is really neat. 
I hate that leader portrait, but I hate that piece of chicken, but again, <laughs> I really enjoyed this build and I love the way it folds out. I love the way it looks. However, as a full fold out, it takes up way too much space on the shelf. So I will be just portraying it and displaying it as a suitcase. Let's take one final look at this beautiful set and Queenie and Jacob, the little Niffler. I think the biggest disappointment is the weird little green plant piece that is supposed to be the bow truckle. I don't know how else they would have done it, but it's just not great. I love Pickett and that is not great. Tina's got her teapot and we've got the Akami right behind her. I love this suitcase. I love everything about it. It is now retired. You can still pick it up for a little bit of money on Amazon if you really want it, but I love this set. Here's a shot of it on the shelf. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of set 75952. And as always, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care.